how to grow or how to regrow celery from store-bought celery hello welcome to seven savings garden where we talk about gardening ways to save money and other special events if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos i got the celery from the store and uh, i'm gonna show you how um you can uh, get uh start having your own celery from uh, what we just got from the store so once you get the celery uh, like this you're gonna see it has a stem and it has a stock of uh, celery that uh, you're gonna uh, uh, use to cook or use in the kitchen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, use uh, just the stem part with uh, part of the, the part that has the roots um, that was cut from the roots we just that's the only part we're gonna use and then the other top part we're just gonna use it in the kitchen so I'm just gonna cut it you want to cut it like I'll say about four four or five inches from the bottom uh, as you can see here so we have we've cut it um, four or five inches from the bottom and so you can use you can save the top part um, to do uh, to cook in the kitchen or to whatever if you're gonna make a juice or salad or whatever you're gonna do with it uh, you can use the top part the bottom part we're gonna uh, grow celery from it so what we're gonna do is let me just show you the middle of it so this is it this is the middle you see how um nice it looks and the bottom is 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 there but we're gonna have to take out the bottom uh, just to in encourage uh, root germination and to expose the bottom of the uh, celery so what, what i'm gonna do is now is just take um take the celery and then we're just gonna try to um, make sure that we take out the just like half an inch or so of uh the bottom part of the um celery where the roots were so that way it exposes the bottom of the celery stalk so that's it um so what i'm gonna do right now when we don't we're not supposed to use the other small piece but i'm just gonna make an experiment just to see uh, if anything comes out of it but uh, right now we're just gonna put um what we have uh in a container you need a little um a cup or um any container where you can uh, suspend the celery in in it so i have my cup right here and you just need a cup and water and a couple of toothpicks to suspend the celery uh, in the air so if you just leave it in the cup and the roots touching the bottom touching the ground it might not do as well but um just suspend it in the air and uh, it's gonna make sure that all the section or the bottom is um exposed to water and no there's no pressure on any of the um, bottoms so now we're just gonna uh, put a couple of toothpicks on each side you can use toothpicks or you can use whatever um uh, sticks you have so you want to fill the water up to the top i'll say probably around 80 90 percent uh fill the water and then uh put the celery in there so you want to make sure that you put it in the container where uh the celery is uh is able to completely f go into the cup and when the water dries down during the, this process you just have to make sure that you keep filling it you don't want to let the, the the bottom of the celery dry out you want it to be in constant um touch, constantly touching the water the water you have in the container so now i'm just putting the toothpicks on uh on a couple of sides of the uh, uh the celery to suspend it so I just get a couple of toothpicks. The toothpicks don't want to come out. Also, just let me know in the comments below if you've done something like this or what you think about the video. Um, I know a couple of people asked me about doing this uh, like a couple of weeks ago and, and a month ago. So let me know what you think about it. If it's something that uh, you've done or you're interested uh in watching things like this let me know in the comments below um also if you're new to the channel or you you uh been to this you've you've watched a lot of videos but you haven't subscribed please subscribe that's the only way i know um you're interested in videos like this and you want me to continue uh making videos like this and thanks for all those who have subscribed so now we're all done with this so now you can put this on your windowsill 
or you can put it in uh, uh, outside where there's a lot of sunlight especially if the temperature outside is above 60 you can put it outside but if not if it's still cool inside if it's still cool outside you can put it on your windowsill where there's enough sunlight then it should do well so what I'm gonna do is just put it I'm gonna put it out uh, in my greenhouse and it should be fine in there and we're gonna monitor it So, so as you can see, I'm just gonna put it in the greenhouse like that, and just make sure that it uh, it maintains that uh, water level over there. Um, I just monitor it every day. So this is 12 hours later. As you can see, the color on the top is changing, and uh, the middle is a little bit yellowish, uh, which means it's, uh, the leaves are trying to start uh, coming out. So this is the other one that I was saying as an experiment. I'll try to see if, it, if anything, anything comes out of it. Um, I'll let you know at the end if anything comes out of it. So 48 hours later, a little bit of improvement. As you can see, um, there's a little bit of um, projection of the middle. Uh, the, the experiment is still no change and everything else is still the same. As you can see, the... Um, the, 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 there's little uh, strains in the middle that shows different um, like the color of the celery is changing as you can see the color has changed much different more yellowish after 48 hours and more of the top is coming out the leaves uh, looks like they're gonna be coming out uh, very soon we should be able to see some leaves I'll see probably in a couple of days uh, just maintain, like I said, just make, make sure you maintain the water level, especially if it's outside when it's very hot. You want to make sure that you fill the water in, you fill it um, regularly so that way it's uh, constantly submerged in the water. At least part of the, um, the stem is submerged in the water so that it can continue to absorb the water and, uh, and also be able to start growing. This is it after um, four days. As you can see, that some of the leaves are coming out. It is doing great. Uh, some of the leaves are coming out, and we should be, uh, we should be. You can still transplant it. I, I just to let you know, you don't have to put it in water like this. You can still transplant it. Uh, you can just cut it and plant it like that. I'm just doing this just to make sure that to guarantee that yes, it's gonna take off, and and it should be fine once I plant it into into a container or into a garden. Uh, but you can still do it. There's actually no roots coming out it takes a long time for celery uh, roots to come out so that's fine as long as the leaves are coming out it's gonna uh, use all the nutrients it gets from uh, the stem to grow um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know this is after six days more leaves are coming out it's getting it's a little bit uh, longer now bigger leaves are, are a little bit coming out right here so uh, the experiment there's no change with the experiment so uh we'll leave it like that and see what uh comes of it later on so this is it it is is doing much better day seven one week after is doing is doing great like i said just make sure that you fill water fill the water in and uh, the roots are still not yet out as you can see uh Probably the roots are not going to be out by the time we transplant it because, uh, like I said, it takes a while for the roots to start coming out. So now we're just going to, this is day 8, we're just going to plant it um, uh, like that in our container. So I have my container right here. I make my own potting mix. I have a video that shows you how to make good quality potting mix for pennies. I'll see if you can add that in the description below. Uh, just take a look at it and uh, if you're interested in making your own potting mix instead of buying potting mix at the store So what I'm gonna do is just make a hole in the middle and then just put it in. you want to make sure that you uh, you bury at least half of the uh, the stem into the uh, potting mix So we're just gonna Take the toothpicks out. We're gonna take all the toothpicks out like that then we're just gonna make a hole in the middle of the container so if you're using a bigger container like this it should be fine if you're using a smaller container it might outgrow a smaller container so but a container like this should be fine so we're just gonna uh, bury it in the middle plant it in the middle like that then we're gonna use 
um, the water it came from to just water it. Whenever you plant or transplant uh, any of your plants or vegetables, you want to make sure that you water it thoroughly. Uh, that way the roots continue to get enough water and maintain the moisture in there for them to continue to grow. So that's it. We're just going to put it in a nice sunny area and we'll keep checking it. So maybe like in, um, maybe like in, uh, in a month or two, I might give you guys an update on how it's doing. But right now, this is it. After about um, 12 days, uh, it's the leaves are much, much more uh, exposed now. They are coming out. They are doing great. So um, that is it for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy growing and stay safe.